Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from IDB. Now while I personally have not had issues losing my AirPods, it's definitely a concern. And one of the ways that Apple is helping to alleviate that concern came to us in the iOS 10.3 Beta 1 update. And that is a new addition to Find My iPhone that allows you to find your AirPods. Now this is obviously not a perfect situation because of course there's no GPS in the AirPods themselves, more or less relying on Bluetooth. To activate this feature, you go into the Find My iPhone app, and as long as the AirPods are registered with your devices, it'll show up in your list of available devices. So I've got all my iPads and MacBooks, but on the top of my list, as connected right now, are the AirPods. Just like all the other devices, I have actions I can perform, and in this case, it's play sound or do navigation. When it plays the sound, make sure these are not in your ear, but you can mute the left or you can mute the right earbud. Of course, you cannot do these both at the same time because if you just mute both of them, that's the same thing as hitting stop playing in the middle. So if I have the left muted, if I tap mute on the right, it'll unmute the left earbud. Now it's not super loud, but it does a decent job, especially in the apartment or the house. You should be able to find them pretty easily. It really kind of just works like a Bluetooth tracker, like the tile that we've covered, and just use that Bluetooth signal to kind of pinpoint it. If it's not within range, it'll show the last known location, the last time it was connected to your phone, and then you can actually go in, see that location, and then once it does reconnect, it'll start to play that sound again. Now what this may remind you of is that Find AirPods app that was actually released in the App Store not long ago. It allowed you to go in, select which AirPod was lost, the left or the right. It allowed you to put the other one back in the case and then kind of search around until you found them, but it didn't really make the AirPods themselves make any noise. So Apple's first party option definitely seems better and it kind of explains why this app was removed from the App Store with really no warning. So what do you guys think? Does this help you feel a little bit better about possibly losing your AirPods? Let us know what you think of this update down in the comments below. Check out our full review on 10.3, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, until next time. This is Andrew for IDB.